Well, here we are Thursday. Man, you guys are determined. <laughs> you are gluttons for revelation, aren't you? <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with that. Good morning. Pastor Chastine Rock here, and uh, I'm glad to be here with you guys, and uh, I believe that you are also elated about hearing and being a part of what's going on through uh, God's revelation to you and his, his inspired power for you every day through the fullness of the life of Jesus Christ. Hey man, this is a great day. Today, guess what? We're gonna be talking about you personally, all right? I, 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 come on now, you personally, okay? I'm not in a church, it's not a ministry work so so that we're working together. This is for you personally, and this, is, this day, we're gonna be talking about you as an individual being positioned, all right? Being positioned to stand beside the Lord Jesus Christ. Now remember, two of his disciples said, Lord, you know, we want to sit on your right and on your left, you know, and he says, you don't even know what you're talking about, all right? But guess what? The scripture does show you and I that guess what? We are going to stand right beside the Lord Jesus Christ when he reigns and rules in this world. That's right. You're a warrior. This is what we've been telling you all week is about. Guess what? The warrior's effect, being a warrior, being on the battlefield, understanding what it is to be in the fight and understanding. And Jesus is teaching us. He's training us. He's molding us to be able to be able to stand with him, who's the ultimate warrior, okay? Not the wrestler that you guys might be thinking about, okay? But Jesus is the ultimate warrior, spiritually and materially. Guess what? Everything is under his power. Guess what? He's got every championship. And guess what? And he doesn't have them sitting all around because there's no comparison. There's nobody to fight him. All right? So guess what? You and I today, we're going to look at you and I being positioned with the Lord Jesus Christ when he comes and reigns and rules. All right? So let's go to the book of Jude. All right? Talking about being positioned. Y'all got some mind if I get some of my morning coffee, okay? Because I know you already had yours. All right? So let's look at this. In Jude, verse 14, he says this. Behold, look, see, check it out. The Lord cometh with 10,000 of his saints. What? Why is he coming with 10,000 of his saints? Well, we go on and we look at some more of the scripture here in this, and we see that, guess what? It's to execute judgment. <laughs> That's right. See, you, 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 you don't realize why every morning when you get up and you get dressed and you shine your arm up and you put it on, you go out there and fight and you come back and sometimes you win a battle. Sometimes you come back and you feel like it was a draw. All right. Never defeated. All right? It may have been a draw today, but never defeated. OK. And then guess what? You get up tomorrow morning, you put your suit on again, you go back and you fight. And then guess what? You draw some blood today. You know, guess what? You got to the enemy. All right. You shut his foot out of the door. You got to the enemy. Guess what? But then guess what? Every day you don't realize that the Lord is shaping you by the Holy Spirit through sanctification, all right? Well, the Holy Spirit, he's, he's, he's shaping you every day to be able to come back and stand with the Lord Jesus when the fight goes on, when the big, when the big reigning takes place, all right? When you're going to put, you know, all ruling authorities under his authority, all right? And this is what Jude is seeing. He says, with 10,000 of his saints, okay? Now, again, that's positioning you and I being positioned, okay? It says in, in 15 and 14, it describes the behaviors of those that will receive these judgments, okay? It's describing the, hate, the behavior of those, you know, the ungodly people, the people who smirk and mock at you now, and, you know, all of the evil spirits and everything. It, I mean, everything is going to be under his reign and rule, and today you're training for reigning. My wife used to say that back in 1993, you know, when we first got together and started the ministry and stuff, and we started doing things. And guess what? Today, these things are opening up. That prophetic word was not just a prophetic word, but it was also a predictive word. Like Jesus, you know, when he told Peter, he says, Peter, I'm prophesying, you know, blah, 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 that the night before the rooster crow, you are going to deny me three times. It was a prophetic word, but it was also a predictive word together. And so Jude is giving you and I, uh, guess what? A, a, a prophesying or a prophetic word, but he's also given us a predictive word that you and I are going to come back and be positioned with the Lord Jesus Christ to reign and rule. Now, we hear a lot of preaching about, you know, after we leave the, you know, the world and whatever, but a lot of people don't understand that you and I are being designed now to come back and reign and rule with Jesus during the millennial time. During the millennial reign, we're coming back. And that's why you can't be sitting at home on Sundays and, you know, not going to church during the week and talking about you getting it all from, from a live stream. Let me tell you something. You can't get 
anything out of a live stream except motion, news, and noise. All right. In other words, you become a multitude of people instead of becoming a disciple. Okay. And so you need to get yourself up so that you can be positioned with the Lord when he returns. Okay. That's what everybody's going to be shouting about when we come back. And we don't want to see you left out. Okay. We don't want to see you talking about, well, your pastor told you to use a wallflower. Well, look, you're not going to be on some painting somewhere, okay? You're still a live person. You will always be a live person, okay? Whether resurrected with the, with the good or resurrect, resurrected with the, with the evil, you're going to always live. The evil will just live every day to die every day. You will live every day to be a blessing every day. So get yourself ready every day when you get up. Prepare yourself to become so that as you become an answer, guess what? The Lord is looking at you. Listen, that's a person that I want position on the field when I come back. I want that position. I want that person position over there. Or I want them position over there. I want them position in that culture. I want them position over there because this is what it's all about. We are coming back to be positioned with the Lord Jesus Christ through our commitment and our dedication and our stance for the Lord in these days. Amen. So, God bless you. Uh, this, this I want you to carry with you. Uh, these are four things that are listed here in the book of Jude that you need to do, okay? And it's right here with these scriptures. Number one, you need to build yourself up by praying in the spirit. This is how every warrior keeps himself ready for the fight, okay? Number two is simply this. Keep connected in the love of God, for it is the love of God that keeps you strong, Okay? It keeps you out of being offended because someone does something or because they're on the other side. I'm not offended because of sinners. My job is to win them, not to be offended at them, okay? Number three is show mercy. Show mercy to people. Help people that, that have missed it or fallen away. Show mercy and get them back in. Talk to them. Encourage them to get back in, okay? And number four is this. Always share the good news of Jesus Christ with everybody that you possibly can. Those are four things that are listed right there in the book of Jude. Amen? All right. Well, we are prepared to go into Friday. Oh, man, we're going into Friday. We're warriors, right? We're going into Friday all ready for the fight, all ready for the victory, all ready for the benefits of, guess what, our life here with the Lord Jesus Christ. We'll see you tomorrow morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a blessed day.